Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and to the first part of The Sims 4 Dream Home Decorator. Let's play on my channel. I am so excited for this game pack. I think it's going to be so fun and so interesting to play. I'm excited to see. I haven't seen any of the, well I've seen, of course I've seen some of the create a sim and building by but I'm excited to just see it on my computer and to really see everything I know it's a lot and I'm so excited but and I know everybody and their mom is excited but this is just such a good game pack like it really is it seems like it's gonna be fun to play and I'm playing it so <laughs> let me just introduce myself for everybody who doesn't know me or is just a newcomer to my channel i am record sims i have been playing the sims since i was about 12 or 13 years old so i started with sims 3 and i used to play sims 3 all the time like 24 7 i used to play it all the time i used to watch sims let's plays to get ideas on how to play and ideas on how to build and ideas on like little cc content and whatnot i used to be about the sims my life was the sims okay it it was the same i love making the youtube videos for sims and because i'll be watching my own videos no cap <laughs> like i like watching my own videos i go back to like my oldest oldest videos which are like private now but i'll be watching those and i love them but yeah now that that's done now that i've introduced myself we can go ahead and get into the content so hi everybody nice to meet you i hope you're doing well let's get into it so this is the first thing that pops up after you install dream home decorator and so literally i just installed it on my computer just now and these are the pictures and everything it just looks like it's gonna be fun literally like i love decor i'm trying to get better on my decorating skills and this pack is perfect for that so <laughs> i can really practice and fine tune my skills because i want to get good at decorating like i'm trying to get better i've been trying to build my de decorating skills not only on the sims but in real life because i'll be having trouble okay so these there's these little three bullet points if you will and we have the three little pictures this is the sim from the trailer i'm excited yo i'm excited so this first one this first bullet point says know your clients it's not just about a client's needs but also their preferences and their budgets find out what your client likes and dislikes and keep those in mind while coming up with designs to get a glowing recommendation the second one says renovate redecorate remodel whether it's revamping a single room redoing an entire lot or refurbishing a commercial space your goal is to make your clients happy you're in charge of all the details and then it says the big reveal hopefully your work inspires happy crying instead of tears of disappointment that would be sad unveil the results to see how your clients react to their personalized home makeover so yeah those that's the little summary and when you install dream home decorator you will see the same exact thing that i'm seeing right now this pack literally came out yesterday june 1st 2021 let's go ahead and get started i already actually have a family ready to go and ready to get things popping so we're gonna cut to that right now right, welcome into willow creek this is where we're gonna be playing the majority of the time or at least where we're going to be starting to play and i actually just wanted to let y'all know this is the little simsy or little simsy save file i wanted to use this because first of all i'm tired of playing in the same old world it feels like i'm playing it feels like no matter where i go whether i go to willow creek newcrest uh oasis springs it feels like I'm playing the same world because I'm seeing the same Sims constantly, which is cool, but I wanted to change because I'm playing, I'll be playing so many different families and I have two different Let's Plays on my channel right now. So I'm just constantly seeing the same Sims and I wanted to change. And I also wanted to play in a world where Newcrest is 
populated and built and I just have bars and places to hang out without having to go in the gallery and put them all in manually because it takes a lot of time I don't have every single pack from the sims 4 so if there are sims that are don't have no shoes or might be um might not have a shirt I apologize for that I tried to go and redo all the ones that I saw and so and add like my own hair and stuff but if maybe like their winter wear or something is messed up I apologize for that and I'll probably fix it when I see it but that's why so with the little sims you save it's just a populated world it's just really revamped and y'all should go check it out I'll put it in the description I'm not gonna go too in depth but it's super crazy and it's super cool and I appreciate it so much because I know this probably took forever to do i love little simsy i love her decorating so it's only right i use her say because that girl that woman know how to build <laughs> and she know how to decorate so i'll be watching her speed builds and stuff but yes this is the family that we're actually going to be utilizing the henry family and let's go ahead and get into them and i'm going to tell you their story because we have I, I made a story for them I, I made a background for them this is not no light shit this is I made a background story for them so yes they live in this house right here okay so this is Jasmine Henry and this is going to be basically our main sim slash the sim that we're going to be focusing on probably the most in this LP at least in the beginning um, I don't know how long this LP is going to be since it is a game pack and not an expansion pack, but we'll see. I'm going to just go with the flow and let it do what it do. If it's short, it's short. If it's long, it's long, you know, you know, whatever. And this is also going to be, of course, our future interior decorator. And when I say future, I mean like in three minutes. <laughs> yes, so... I'm so freaking excited. This is our sim. She is so freaking cute. She's so freaking pretty. I went off when I made this sim. Let me just say that I went off because she is so gorgeous. Like, look at her. Look at her. Look at the baby hairs. Look at the curls. Baby. That's a sim right there. That's a sim. That's a baby. So, yes. She does have a little bit of a family and she do live in a house. She is established and she's an adult. So, she's not a young adult, but she's an established at least a little bit established woman she she got shit going you know what i'm saying she got shit going it's not just we doing whatever our shit is really not our shit is inconsistent no we got we got our stuff down she's kind of just you know living taking care of her family and being about her shit so i'm gonna actually just go ahead and let y'all know her traits so we can just go into that and then i'm gonna go into her i'm going to introduce the other sims and yeah we're gonna go from there so her traits for um her are creative charming self-assured and domestic because she just loves her family she's a family like she's a family girl like she's a friend a family woman she loves her family she would do anything for her motherfucking daughters and even a lot for her motherfucking dog even though it's really her daughter's dog but that just shows you how ride or die she is <laughs> And of course, we also have our likes and dislikes, which was came with the update that it came with the Sims 4 home decorator. She only has update. a few likes. And I did that just because I didn't want to overload the likes because I know when I was watching some of the live stream for this game pack on the Sims channel, um, they had said, the Sim gurus had said that to that your sims also gain likes and dislikes as they live through life and i actually have i've only seen it pop up once but i've only played a little bit obviously with the with the update because the update literally just came out a couple of days ago but your sims do gain likes and dislikes as they live which i think is super cool and super like 
a little bit of a realistic aspect because of course you just you like and dislike things as you go along in life sometimes you like something sometimes you end up disliking it sometimes you go on in life not knowing you don't like doing something until you do it and you don't like it <laughs> so yes yeah. so her she likes for hobbies and skills she likes painting she for her music she likes pop music and romance music and she dislikes electronica music and she likes the colors blue purple and black and dislikes the colors red and gray and yeah for her career right now she is a artist she's a super good artist actually she's a level six painting skill she is super creative painting is just like one of her true loves she loves painting she loves art and that's why she's been a painter for so long it pays the bills she's got it to the point where it pay, literally pays the bills and she sells her art she just loves painting like out I, I mean she's good at it she, so right now she's in imaginative images but that's soon about to change because she just wants a new change in her life she's been a painter for so long and she's realized like I don't need to work for a corporation I don't need to work for a company to be a painter like she's like that now she has a reputation in the art world and she sells her paintings for a good amount of money so if she really wanted to she feel like she could just quit her painting job and survive off of painting only if she really wanted to but she also has some other hobbies and things that she wants to delve into and she's really been thinking on it and she just kind of wants to kind of have a change of pace in her life so that's why she's really been thinking about quitting her job as a painter because she just she doesn't like how when she has a job as a painter she doesn't have as much control over her what she paints obviously if she works she works as a painter she works for somebody else so um she just paints what other people want her to paint and she's more so like I want to do what I want to paint whatever I want to paint when it comes to art like she's just over being a painter of course she used to love working as a painter and she just used to love the idea that she's doing something that she truly loves painting as a job but she just gotten to the point now she's an adult she has two kids and she's tired of people telling her what to paint like girl I want to do what I want I want to paint what I want I don't want to paint your face I want to paint my face I want to paint my daughter's face you know what I'm saying so <laughs> yes yeah, she definitely wants to change a pace and also um she's not recently divorced but it's pretty it's still pretty new it's been i would say about a sim year since she's been divorced or not even a sim year probably about like about two sim years since she's been divorced because everything is kind of okay now and everything has kind of smoothed over she doesn't really feel the heartbreak of her divorce as much now sometimes she does get sad about it um but we're gonna just say she's been divorced for about two some years because everybody's on good pages so she used to be married to literally she's such good friends with so many people like that's because she's charming like she know how to talk to people and people love her so she's really good friends with this is her ex <laughs> Cameron Hendrix and this is the father to her baby's children <laughs> he is a bodybuilder and he actually does have another wife Eve Hendrix and we will meet them soon at some point of course of course with the kids and stuff we'll see them at some point they're on good terms now of course they're divorced they have no romantic inclination towards each other but so they're on good terms now but they just weren't ready to get married like they when it came to marriage when it came to relationship they were on the same page when it came to marriage they really weren't um he's as you can see his he's a jealous son he's super jealous and she's charming like everybody loves her she, i would almost go to say like i didn't give her the irresistible trait just because i don't want to say she's irresistible but she's just charming she's super lovable and people love her and he's just a jealous sim like and not to say he was controlling over her or anything nothing like that he's just a jealous sim and they they used to argue a lot especially when they got married 
and moved in together and they always say when you move in with somebody it's a whole different relationship because it's whole different it's a whole different thing it's definitely a whole different thing they just weren't ready to get in a relationship and a little bit before they got divorced it was just constant arguing it wasn't a good environment for they their two kids that they had and you know also at the same time their the relationship was just going downhill for a minute it started off good and it started off great and they thought they were you know soulmates they thought they were you know ride or die of course I mean she still cares for him and she still cares about him but you know things happen in life and that is okay literally it's okay but they just weren't ready for marriage and it's not like he stepped out like I said he's a jealous time so it's not like either of them had stepped out but as the, at the end of their relationship he is a bodybuilder he's a bodybuilder as you, you can see he <laughs> towards the end of the relationship it was just really toxic energy they were always arguing they were always nitpicking at each other because things would never get solved and they really just got to the point where communication was not anything it wasn't good like their communication skills were just not good at all so he didn't step out but he did entertain i want to say or was kind of close to his current wife because he was her fitness trainer and they ended up getting together at first you know jasmine was looking like so you mean to tell me y'all just conveniently got together after we broke up and it was a little bit of time before they got together but it was still fairly quick like when they got together uh cameron and his current wife eve they were it was she was still getting over the divorce she was still sad about the divorce and even now today she still has little moments where she gets sad about her divorce but it's just like girl like how you get over it that quick you know what i'm saying that's the question i'd be asking too but at this point like i said it's been about two some years they're all cool everybody's cool like everybody's on good terms and both cameron and jasmine realize like it really just was for the best like Cameron feels like he has really really met his soulmate with Eve and honestly Jasmine feels happy <laughs> happier without Cameron and with her two girls so period um <laughs> she is entertaining somebody though she she's somebody that is having more of a harder time just moving on because she wants to be cautious like I said they started off good and they went downhill so she's super cautious about who she who she want to get with next like she doesn't want the same thing to happen she does not want to get divorced again so but she has been entertaining somebody for a minute and she's super good friends with him his name is jeremiah and he's super cute and he's super cool so <laughs> yeah he's super cute and he's super cool i don't know why none of his stuff is coming up like i want his information to come up but I mean, I guess I remember. I just don't remember his traits. But we'll meet him soon. We'll definitely meet him soon. He is a chiropractor. Okay. <laughs> he know how to fill her up mentally. I mean, physically. And he know how to be there for her emotionally. You know what I'm saying? But she, like I said, she's kind of iffy. She don't want to claim him. She don't want to make things official because she just don't want things to go downhill she's super and of course she has two kids like she don't want nobody coming into their life until you know things are set like of course they've met him before because they've been friends for a minute but they have met them in a way of that's my mom's boyfriend if you know what i mean so yes let's go ahead and meet her two kids this is gonna be a long part because <laughs> we're gonna be introducing people but this is her first born daughter um, she's cooking right now, but her name is Janelle Hendricks, and she's super cute. I would regard her as like literally um, your typical girly teen girl. <laughs> your typical girly teen girl. She loves makeup. She loves hair. She loves getting cute, and that's on period. But her traits are popular gregarious she's just like her mom in the sense that 
she's kind of charming and she just loves socializing with people and she's good at it really like she's just naturally good at it and she's fun loving which i think this is a custom trait or a cc trait which i believe charming is as well when it goes comes to her likes and dislikes she prefers hip-hop music pop music and summer strap music and she dislikes kids radio music with a passion and um for color she uh likes brown green and pink and dislikes orange she doesn't have the other one um, the hobbies one because i really didn't know what to pick i want her i just want to play her and see what she's like naturally inclined to so i didn't really know what to pick so i'm just gonna leave that as is and see what pops up and apparently we can enter create a sim and change our likes and dislikes pretty easily a cool way to enter create a sim now what okay that's so cool but yeah this is janelle hendrix she's super pretty she's super cute this is her every day her her summer wear is super cute but her every day is cute as well it's currently a heat wave so we'll see their outfits throughout the game i'm not gonna go through all their outfits and for the create a sim and build buy mode items from home decorator stuff we're going to I'm gonna do a separate video for that so if you want to watch that video i'm gonna put a card i'm pretty sure this video is going to be uploaded before that but in case anybody comes after that video is uploaded i'll insert a card here and um all right and i'll also try to remember to put it in the description box later but i'm gonna go through all of the build buy mode stuff um uh, individually what's the next so we have our child she's super cute as well i think she's so cute so this is her i think she's cute as fuck like no cap so her traits are goofball she's a goofball i envision her just to be like a super rambunctious kid like she has hella energy she just loves playing she loves just being happy and she's a goofball like her trait like she's a super goofball she is super goofball so when it comes to her likes and dislikes she likes hip-hop music and spooky music she doesn't have any dislikes yet just because i feel like i don't know kids be liking any music they be singing hella songs if kids like kids bop they really can't say they don't like any other music i kids be loving so i'm gonna just see if if she dislike any music we'll see throughout the game so she likes violin she hasn't played violin yet but you know she likes the idea of playing violin so we might get her into playing violin and yeah and then uh she dislikes the color purple so yeah and she is a c level student okay let me look at her skills she's creative just like her mom you know get that from her mama <laughs> and oh she's good at social and then these are her skills the mom skills and then let's go into our puppy. Know, but she had on a little outfit. It was real cute. I don't know. I'll change it at some point. But literally, so this is their dog. Also, <laughs> I didn't. I forgot to tell y'all her name. Her name is Larissa. Larissa Hendricks. And this is. I don't know if I told you y'all her name either. But her name is Janelle Hendricks. So yeah, that's two. But that's their names. And then um, Jasmine. This is Rosie Hendricks. Jasmine. I got Rosie Hendrix, Rosie, for them. So they mostly take care of her. Um, they take her on the walks and stuff because it's good for their responsibility. And they really wanted a dog. And yeah, that dog is cute. So <laughs> that's their dog. And I don't, her traits, or I do have the controllable pets mod because who is not going to control their own pets not me <laughs> so <laughs> she is jumpy and loyal and playful and she's a super cute dog she's a super cool dog so yeah it's currently 5 p.m on a monday so 
I don't know. Also, y'all, this is their house. Um, this is a house that was in the Simsy Save, and she built this house, and this house is a bomb. I am going to redecorate all of their rooms with um, home decorator stuff, and I will probably do that. Let's just, I'm gonna probably do it right now. So, this is their room so it's pretty boring in their rooms right so <laughs> i'm gonna probably leave hers pretty much the same because i like larissa's room but this is jasmine's room and this is janelle's room and i just feel like their room could use a little bit more spice so i'm gonna take some of the home decorating stuff that we got and decorate it a little bit first of all i'm gonna tell her to get off the computer because we don't got time for all day. And let's go ahead and get decorating. I'm going to go ahead and maybe delete this stuff. I'm going to leave her like set up pretty much the same. I'm just going to delete like the bed. The bed is ugly. The bed is ugly. But so let me see. I'm going to go to... Oh my gosh oh my gosh oh wait i have to give a larissa a bunk bed or something let me see oh my i can't wait to go through all of these freaking beds omg this bed bitch i want this bed bitch wait why is okay first of all why is the desk like this why is the desk like this yeah, I need a desk like that. But I like this like wooden bed. Wait. Ooh. This got a, just a chair. Oh, this one's cute. I low-key want a desk though, so she has somewhere to do her homework. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. This is cute as fuck. If they were to share a room, I guess. If they were to share a room, this would be, like, perfect. I don't know what instance I would want to use this bed. Maybe, like, in a legacy challenge where they're broke or something. But this is cute. I wanted her to have a desk, but, damn, she could do her homework at the kitchen table. One thing about this. Oh. 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 Hold on. I could take this out. Okay, wait, 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 if you could just take it out, ho, I could put this in there. I honestly, I like this. Wait, let me just change the color of this and uh, change this to white. Is that cute? I think it's cute. I think it's cute. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate their things real quick, and I'm probably just gonna speed through it.
Okay, so this is Janelle's room. I like her room. I like how it's just, I don't know. I like the neutral tones and everything. Um, so yeah, so I added some decor and I also added some things from the dream home decorator pack. Like I said, I would. This is one of the things and one of the cool things that I like about this um, is the fact that the dressers come with racks. So you could either put the clothes on there and all these like extra things like the shoes and stuff on there or you could leave it completely empty. It's up to you. You don't have to put the clothes on there. You could use it just for decor like there's so many variations to things i love it and then so i added that added a little laundry basket that's just some extra custom content that i had um what else the bed is also from dream home decorator and yeah so i definitely need to get more cc or stuff packs because i don't have that much decor i feel like and then this is jasmine's room it's just a purple type of theme and dark wood um i believe this is from dream home decorator and this is also this is one of the other customizable shelving where you can put um clutter onto i think the clutter that i put in there the baskets are from dream home decorator as well and the bed is i love the i like the beds i like a like pretty much all of the furniture that i saw from dream home decorator i liked and then these are her side tables dream home decorator dressers from dream home decorator and super cute and then over to Larissa's room I added this tent it is so cute like look at this tent this is from dream home decorator I really can't. I'm gonna make Larissa get in this I can't wait to see like if it's like a new interaction I don't know but um I'm pretty sure it is because we don't have anything else that looks like this this is just cute as fuck so I put that in her room and then I put the bump beds I love the different bump beds in there i have to fix that thing on the ceiling she don't even need that she is a grown girl <laughs> but one of the beds came with a desk on it and it is so cute i like it her room is so cute super super cute i have to fix some of my mistakes because i was using move objects but yeah so that is the rooms i think they look so cute and yeah they just look so cute to me i think i did a good a pretty good job if i do say so myself i also exchanged all of the oh. lights i now that we've you know decorated a little bit like i said our girl jasmine has been wanting a change in her life like like i said she did get divorced a little minute ago but she feels like this whole time she's kind of been grieving that divorce divorce is nothing you know it's not even that she's been grieving it but she's kind of been more so accepting it and trying to get into the swing of things because they were together for a long time you know and that's a lot like you know when is marriage is something different than just a simple breakup and after y'all have born a child together so she was just taking those last two years to kind of get herself together but she and so she really didn't change a lot of things she didn't she wanted to kind of continue and make sure she was cool before she started doing these drastic changes and she finally feels like she's ready and she's confident enough to take the step into a new thing and she's just been thinking about interior decorating for the longest time she loves watching the interior decorating channel <laughs> she loves watching the dream home decorator network but she started watch so she started watching that channel she was like hmm like 
I feel like I could do this. Like, I want to try it. I want to do it. I want to see if I can succeed at this. And she already has a creative mind and she loves art and she loves, you know, creating things. So she thought that this would be also something that she would enjoy. And being so that she's creative and she's also super charming, um, she feels like she would hit it off with clients. So, you know, we're going to gonna try her hand at it so she is gonna make that call in today to quit her job um yeah she's gonna make that call today to quit her job we're gonna say that her friends she okay so she's part of the art world she sees she meets a lot of creatives and painters so they have buyers there's people who are buying from them and a lot of their clientele is interior decorators who are decorating for other people so you know she has met a lot of creatives and um we're gonna say that one of her friends is about to put her on to an agency i guess if you know interior there's interior decorator agencies but here's the job um it just says being an interior decorator is about two things having a good eye for design building relationships with clients which is things that she feels like she has okay having people's skills and some artistic vision will lead to a bright future and possible recognition you may start small with some simple home renovations but eventually with enough hard work bigger clients and buildings could get you the recognition you deserve and we are going to be it's going to be hiring as an interior color consultant and the median gig pay is 600 simoleons so we're going to go ahead and take the motherfucking job so she is going to be taking a pay cut so they're going to have to be tight on the motherfucking money for a little bit but that's okay because we can get through it yes jasmine has quit her job at 1000 words art gallery she decided it was time for a new direction career-wise and it says entered the interior decorator career jasmine is now an interior color consultant at cia classic interior artisans she can use the color panel to search for clients looking for spaces to be decorated the color panel or the career panel my bad so let's see we're gonna look for some gigs Ooh. so it is kind of if you have get famous this is kind of what the uh, actor or slash actor slash actress gig thing looks like so it's, it looks like it's a pretty same concept you click a gig oh wait must be a higher level in decorator career complete other decorator gigs to level up well how are we gonna click the gig so I guess we'll check back tomorrow I hope there's something for us tomorrow, <laughs> but that's odd. Let's go to lessons, and I want to see dream home decorator, interior decorator career. I'll probably read these at a different time. I'm not going to sit here and read all nine of them, but there is a dream home decorator lesson thing in here for anybody who get confused like me. Yeah, so I think we just have to wait for a... We have to wait for a um, opening. So I'm going to guess, I guess I'm going to wait till tomorrow. But let me put on my headphones because I haven't had them in at all. Okay, so I'm actually going to hit up Jeremiah. We're going to chat with him. You know, might as well. And so what's, let me see. I know she did not do her homework either. Okay, she's going to go to the bathroom. Oh, also, y'all, let me show y'all 
their relationships, the kids' relationships that they, because they do have some established relationships. Um. So obviously, Larissa. Who is this? Annie. I don't even know who that is. This is her best friend, Zora Lynn. She's um a sim that from the Sims you save. And she also is good friends with Delilah and Bryce. They're cool too. So those are her friends. And she's pretty cool. Like I said, they met. They're like acquaintances. They're cool. I would say I'm gonna try to have her do some homework but she's sleepy as hell so I don't even know how much of that is gonna get done and then I'm gonna have to try to have her do hers too but oh she's not she's not sleepy she probably get done with hers and I'm gonna have Jasmine come up here and probably paint for a little bit she was doing a painting earlier And then we'll probably won't get into the career fully until the next part because I'm pretty sure this part has been pretty lengthy already. But yeah, it'll be just on the next part, which will probably be up right after this part. Literally. So yeah, she's going to do her little painting and then... The teenage homework be taking such a long time, I swear I do. Look at them both doing their homework at the table. Alright, so I'm gonna actually invite him out. It's only 9.14 p.m. and she don't have work in the morning. So, I'm gonna actually invite him out, but I'm gonna wait till they're done and they're in fucking bed. Because that's what a good mom do. Okay, put this in your inventory and go ahead and go to sleep and then she needs to finish her homework as well we're about to go out for drinks you know to celebrate her new job but um this is her you know little boo her little boo thing by the way, I also don't have all the expansion packs and game packs. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it, but we're just not there. We're going to go to the Rattlesnake Juice Bar. And we're taking Jeremiah Morrison with us. Are you serious? Girl, go home. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just did that shit. Wait. And you come here. <laughs> You come here. How the hell are you? And she's feeling really confident today, so like Okay, like we gonna we gonna be real smooth with it. We're gonna talk about the weather. Like it's been s fucking hot in this bitch. We had a heat wave. They had a heat wave today. Like literally, actually, I think it do say it down here. Yes, it's hot. That as hot. I actually intentionally changed her into her everyday wear, but. We're going to ask him about his hobbies and his favorite color. That reminds me of The Sims 3. I haven't played The Sims 3 in so freaking long. We're going to celebrate her promotion. Our, yeah, we're just going to celebrate her promotion. Um, we're just gonna pretend that's talking about her new job. Um, I have the mod Meaningful Stories, so you know it just makes the gameplay a little bit better, in my opinion. Okay, let's order a drink. Damn, like we've been here for a minute, we didn't order a drink yet. So let's go ahead and order a drink 
for the group. We're gonna have a a rum and coke or a vodka soda. We could drink some wine. No, we're gonna do a rum and coke for both of us. I don't know. I need to get the mod that you can just ask somebody out your conversation because that be so annoying. We're gonna say cheers. They better be asleep. But we're about to end this group here in a second. But real quick before we end it, we are going to flirt a little bit like. We are going to flirt a little bit. Okay, so why are you sitting at our table? Like, get up. You're not invited. You're not fucking invited. You can't sit with us. You're, you're gonna be like, we're not gonna lie, you're cute. You fine. Like, I'm not even gonna cat see you. I'm not even gonna cat see you. I'm not even gonna do you like that. Like, you're cute. <laughs> oh, we can fuck. But, you know, now we're gonna leave him on his toes and just say bye. And we about to go the fuck home. Oh, here's Judith. Judith Ward. Actually, let's go ahead and try to attempt an introduction to her so she can see our face and remember it. I mean, I know this is not a get famous thing, but I feel like this can help. So, if we know celebrities are going to ask us to decorate their houses, right? Like, we're going to have connections, and connections is what is what does it for you. She's not easy to get along with anyway. Maybe we should stay away from her. She kind of blew it anyway. Oh well. Okay, so I think I am going to end this part here. Thank you all for watching. All y'all need to go to bed. Like, I don't even have no time for this. But I am going to end this part here. I feel like it's been pretty lengthy and I want to dedicate, I'm going to dedicate the whole next part to the interior decorating career, hopefully. So yes, thank you all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed and subscribe for more if you like my videos and like, comment. I love to hear comments and suggestions for gameplay. So yeah, bye.